Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. You can make one common mistake that can cost you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of having a Toyota Corolla, that generation that you see right here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, you have a problem where the tire pressure monitor system light is on or you want to see where you can find the fuses for the tire pressure monitor system, where they're hidden, how the system works, what tools you can use to scan the system, reset it, uh, to program TPMS sensors, all that will be covered today, where you can buy cheap parts and tools, that way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do engine work, transmission, mechanical, body work, anything you can think of practically. On this channel specifically, we'll be making at least 150 to 200 videos about that Toyota Corolla, that generation, guys. If you have one of those, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not want to start, you can, and uh, you find out that the fuel pump is bad, you're not getting fuel, you can just search for fuel pump uh, relay, fuel pump fuse really quickly, watch the video, spend a minute or two, replace it, you're back on the road because uh, the writings on the fuse boxes. Uh, are very vague and most people will not even know uh, what they mean so uh, we will be making videos about uh, every possible fuse and uh, relay in that Toyota Corolla so let's start on it now so the fuse for the tire pressure monitor system where you can expect to find it we will demonstrate on that generation Toyota Corolla here now guys you have multiple fuse boxes in that Toyota Corolla but for any of you needing guys help with the tire pressure monitor system these two is one of the best ones that you can get on the market for the money the maxi TPMS it's amazing it can read the codes you can rewrite sensors rewrite IDs scan sensors you can program sensors it's amazing feature guys that can uh, pay itself off in one time use practically instead of going to the dealer but where are the fuses you have multiple fuse box one of them is under the hood right here if you remove the cover it looks like this one but before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good sometimes they may seem perfectly fine you think it's a good fuse you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse find out it's bad replace it fix your problem so we will have a video how to test a fuse okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys we're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so here for the tire pressure monitor system you don't have any fuses guys that directly control it in that fuse box the other fuse box is on the inside that's what it is right here but no fuses are for the tire pressure monitor system so how it works that function practically is supported by a separate module that's known as tire pressure monitor system module it's a special little computer that receives the signals from the tire pressure monitor sensors so if you have the light on most likely you have either a bad sensor flat tire bad computer it could be multiple things but nine out of ten times it's bad tire pressure monitor sensor now fuse there is no specific fuses most likely they're integrated as important fuse other fuses you may need to check the pcm and bcm fuses but uh, usually it's part of another fuse that the car practically cannot be driven without why they do that because it's a safety feature and you must have it on you cannot just pull the fuse and turn the light off you need to fix the problem so those are the most common things we see here guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time 